now the next is gauss seidel method okay this is a method to solve a uh, system of linear equation uh, and and this method is actually very similar it's it's almost same as uh, the previous method the jacobi's method okay this method is also iterative but then there is only a slight difference in in the solving now let's just look at this question and see how we can solve this uh, well the first is i got x from here correct i wrote x is equal to subtracted everything it's 1 upon 27 okay do you see this has got the highest weightage or highest uh, coefficient so i took that as x and now if you see the second one the z has got the highest coefficient so i actually use this equation to find z and not y just remember that point makes your life easier and then i i i found y from the third equation so that's exactly how we did even jacobi's method okay so same thing here as well uh now for the first iteration okay we used to do x not y not z not is equal to 0 for jacobi's method but not for gauss seidel method we will not do this okay let's find x1 for x1 let's just see what we can do for here you will substitute 1 upon 27 and this is 85 minus now you of course you don't have values of y and z to make them zeros so i'll make this zero so you get 85 upon 27 whatever that number is now when you find y1 now pay attention to this uh this is 1 upon 15 i'll use this this equation here 1 upon 15 this is 72 minus 6x okay now here you are not going to write zero because you've just obtained one value of x1 and this obtained value will immediately use in this x here okay and with that uh, it's it's a little bit improvement from the jacobi's method and basically can can get you answer a little faster and then anyway z to we don't have so write this as 0 now after solving this you will get some answer here and for finding z1 you will use this equation of z which is 1 upon 54 and then this is 110 this is uh, well you have x value so you'll write that value x here then y value you will get from here and write that over here and that how that's how you're going to get z1 okay so the only rule of uh, gauss seidel method that is different than jacobi's method is the moment you get a new value like over here i got the value of x1 for next calculation immediately use that one okay and don't take it like all zero like we did previously now i'm just going to write down uh, write down all the values of iteration and of course it's going to be the same thing when you have two consecutive iteration giving you the same answer that's where you stop and and declare that as your final answer so i will write down the answers for your references so these are the values uh, but i want you to solve and verify all these things make sure your while while you're doing the calculation your accuracy is correct you get the correct values up to the four values after the decimal point and if you see that uh, iteration 3 and iteration 4 has got similar values of x y almost same and z as well so you at least make sure that it's it's correct up to two values after decimal point so i'll just write down the final statement here since uh, the iteration 3 and 4 uh, gives similar result we accept these as the final values of variables and let me write down the final answer this is x y and z now all these variables will have value the value of x is going to be 2.42 y is going to be 3.57 and z is going to be 1.9